In these few minutes, we're going to learn about the music of Dan Leibowitz, and it's really about the partnership between YouTube, musicians, and the channel owner, which in this case is me or you. So it's going to work like this. So first of all, we're going to come back to that slide in a moment because we're visiting the audio library music. And in terms of a short story, I found this track that I used a couple of weeks ago. Let's play a tiny bit. And there we have it. So if we go back and we say, hold on a second, let's do it properly. Wishful Thinking is by Dan Leibowitz. At that stage, I thought, I like the track, I wish to use it. Then, to come back, I used it on one of my videos. Now, if you find somebody that you kind of like the music of, and of course this is free to use, and that's why I want to highlight this partnership between YouTube, finding music that you can use, knowing that there is now over 6,000 music tracks, maybe even 7,000 at YouTube Audio Library Music. And in this way, and I really, really agree with this, the phrase that I put down here, and that is really simple, and that is finding good music in all of that a mass of the internet, even though it's a youtube.com URL, is like finding a needle in a haystack. So, how do we know 50 and how do we know about something on the top right in blue, ALO, Animal Liberation Orchestra? So the story goes like this. I went in, I found music. Then what I did, open a new tab, I thought, Dan Leibowitz, I've never heard that name. I apologise, Dan, I'd not heard your name. Then I came in and I thought, I wonder where this goes, because sometimes in the YouTube music library, we have very, very little about the artist that is provided the music. Straight away, it comes up as ALO, in other words, Animal Liberation Orchestra, and all this immense, immense resource about them. We can then find that Dan Leibowitz has his own topic on YouTube, just by a little bit of searching, and it's pretty incredible. What I say is that the partnership here is really looking at somebody like me, who is not a musician, teaming up without even asking to somebody like Dan Leibowitz and looking at the music that I kind of like, which I know could work with my educational videos. So in other words, where were we? We were here. Then I found at that stage a channel which must be, look at the subscriber number 487, Look at the views, which we've got um, 6,000 views. But if we look at the video, and this is really interesting, notice that it's Michigan Greens tracking the melody. Just watch a couple of seconds of this. All right, here we go. Pretty awesome stuff. We can also see that Dan Leibowitz has his own knowledge card or whatever it's called on Google. He's got a ton about him. So he is a huge, huge musician along with his band. But what I'm really getting to is if you notice the one we just played, which was Michigan Greens, and we can see the artist, we can see him talking to camera, we can see everything about him. And obviously, I'm quite excited about using it. And that is if we go and click and we don't click, actually I'm going to do a search, Lebo Wits, to get the right spelling. Then we can found, and I've added this up earlier, that there are about 50 tracks. If you want to know how I got the 50, then all you do is a Control F and Lebo on there, for an example, and you can see that the count, if I just, just scroll down a little bit, and then put a W in, you can find there's 51. So take out the search box. That means there's 50 tracks in there. And if we have a look at Michigan as a search, we will find, he says that Michigan, Michigan Greens, let's speak properly, is a track that you are free to use. <laughs> And it ends there. So what I'm trying to get to, 
and I hope I have got to it, is this incredible, strong partnership between YouTube, what they provided in terms of their music and musicians at the audio library, and how me or you as a channel owner can come together to use this thing. But the thing is, you're going to have to do a bit of searching. I haven't figured out, in terms of the needle in a haystack bit, of how to find it. All I know is that if I go back to looking at Dan Leibowitz, and I will do a search on him again, that I have listened to all of these tracks and started to download quite a few to figure out how I can best use them. So my suggestion to you is if you're into this and you want to create something, which let's be honest, if I want to take photographs, not a problem to me. If I want to make short videos, not a problem to me. If I want to go out and find music, it is a real huge, huge problem because I'm not a musician. If I could play the guitar, the piano or anything else, I would use it. And of course, we know that if we use popular music, uh, then you need to really have to figure out the music policies. Because if you use some of them, like there was a track I wanted to use the other day, and I found out that the actual track was going to be blocked in something like 180 countries, which pretty much means... Uh, no, don't go and use it. So look, make the most of this. I'm committed to making videos to help people learn.